Okay then. We're gonna need supplies and equipment. So we can set up the still and get started with production. We could buy all this, of course, but why would we do that when we can just borrow it permanently from some of the other moonshiners around here and kill two birds with one stone? Time to show these folks that Maggie's back. Back for good. checks for moonshine and the like. All right? Can't imagine this wagon's empty. <laughs> wow. 
Well, well. What are you hauling? Move along. Move along. Looking for trouble? Move it. I am happy to say we are officially in business. <laughs> Alizy, I will show you the engine room. <laughs> Thank you for your intervention the other day. I was turning into a rather unpleasant experience. <laughs> so here we are. Nice and private. <laughs> for obvious reasons, huh? There she is. Uh, our steel. A beauty, huh? Since I've been told that you are new in the business, I was thinking you might need some friendly mentorship. Illicit distillation is a very unique pursuit. Ah, but what is most important are the ingredients for the mash. The more successful a business is, the better the price we can negotiate for those ingredients. Just as we will, the more unsuccessful our competitors are. But that side of things is more the area of expertise of Madame Fike. Anyway, some of our buyers are very exacting when it comes to tastes and flavors. So we will need to adjust our recipes to the demand of our time. Attention! A stronger alcohol sells for more, as you can imagine. But it also takes longer to produce. So that is something else we will need to uh, balance. Huh? Well, that's enough for now. Let's get to work. I have a feeling you are going to learn fast. 